Welcome back, everyone, to event four of the Row Olympics, the Dice Distance event. I'm Derek Derrickson, and we're looking now at our leaderboard. Remember, we're not only looking at medals, but the overall performance by team, so Descent, with only one gold, is in the lead. In this event, we're going to have four dice tumbling at once out of the dice tower. There are all our competitors, and they're going to see how far they can get down the Lord of the Rings mat. So there'll be four heats with four dice in each, three rounds, adding up their scores. So this is more similar to event number one. With direct competition, the dice are going to be jostling for position the entire time. And we get right to the start. Descent, not a great performance, just 12 inches. Remember, if a die goes all the way off the mat, which doesn't seem likely for this group, they do get a one inch penalty to their score. And our second roll, Gears of War comes out a bit ahead that time. But that still leaves Descent ahead with a little bit over 20 inches. And our third roll, Wander with 13 inches. Gears of War, very short performance there. That puts Wander barely to the top. So Wander and Descent going to advance to the next round. Fire Team Zero and Gears of War eliminated. Keep the, oh my gosh! The Mex versus Minion died. Wow, that's blew away any competitor we've seen so far. Look at the rolling. The D6s are feeling the disadvantage here. And again, although Mice and Mystics did do pretty well that time despite their shape, but it is hard to compete with Mex versus Minions in this particular event. Oh, or maybe not at all, only two inches for the final roll. You have to wonder if the other three teams kind of got in their way, but Mex is still far in the lead. Mice and Mystics comes in second. That means Mage Knight, terrible showing last time and eliminated in the first round this time. Very sad day for them. Heat C, another good roll off of the uh, 12 side or Secrets of the Lost Tomb. Got a nice performance there, 17 inches. Oh, but Sword and Sorcery corrected nicely, went straight ahead this time, almost 30 inches, and Secrets of a Lost Tomb ties them directly. Look at that, stopping right next to each other. What a great roll for them. And round three, nothing too special there, but Sword and Sorcery did get a bit ahead of the competition, well, more than a bit. They go up to 61 inches, and Secrets clearly behind. Again, the D6 is just suffering overall. Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters, Hellboy, both eliminated. And our final heat, not much going on there at all. Star Wars Rebellion got a slight advantage. Project Elite as well. But yes, with just our standard D6s, this is nothing going on. Star Wars Rebellion, second place that time, Renegade. Atlantis Rising barely got anywhere. They are feeling their weight. And another poor showing, wow. 7.25 inches is the highest score for that roll, which is almost nothing. So Star Wars Rebellion and Renegade advancing, but you have to imagine they're gonna be cut out early in our next roll off. Project Elite and Atlantis rising out. Here's our halftime show. Ah, showing some love for the audience. And thank you to our performers, just beautiful. Brought a tear to my eye. Oh, it's not done. It's not done, we have rolling now. Although they can't seem to decide where they wanna roll, but we're into the semi-finals for event number four. So Descent, Wander, Mice and Mystics, Mechs versus Minions going into our first heat for the semi-finals. And once again, Mex versus Minions just showing up the competition. Descent made a good effort at it, but came up a bit short. And there we go again, although Mice and Mystics, very nice roll there, 16 inches, but Mex versus Minions dominating with almost 24, 42 inches overall. They will be the one to beat here, I think, without a doubt. Oh, but. Definitely everyone came up short there. Some sideways motion. Mech still in front. 
And maybe Mice and Mystics advancing. Uh, no, Wander called a Barnacle Bay. Didn't really get in front at all, but they had, I guess, the more consistency. So Mechs versus Minions and Wander advancing. The Sand and Mice and Mystics out. And Secrets of a Lost Tomb, great roll. Sword and Sorcery, doing really well in the first round, but not so well on that roll, only 4.5 inches. <laughs> Gosh, Secrets of a Lost Tomb, 25 inches. Sword and Sorcery recovered some, Renegade falling behind. We didn't think they had much of a chance anyway for this event, though. Sword and Sorcery's gonna have to have a really big roll here to boost ahead. Did they get enough? 23.5 inches. Star Wars got, let's see. Ah, they did. Sword and Sorcery edges out Star Wars. Secrets of a Lost Tomb, they were never in doubt. So Star Wars and Renegade eliminated. And we have our finalists for Event 4. Mechs versus Minions. Wander, Call to Barnacle Bay, Sword and Sorcery, and Secrets of a Lost Tomb. And Mechs versus Minions and Secrets have to be the two favorites here. Well, the Sword and Sorcery is still in it, but Wander, the only D6 that managed to make it in. Their chances of meddling, almost none. Second roll for the finals. Oh, what was that? That's going to be a one-inch penalty, I believe. Did they make it over? Yes, they did. But still a really good distance, but they're going to have the slight penalty there. Uh, Sword and Sorcery in the lead. Wander once again falling far behind. Secrets of the Lost Tomb and Sword and Sorcery. And still Mechs versus Minion. It is anyone's game for the gold. Here we go. <laughs> what a sad roll that was. I think Mechs versus Minions clinches it there. Oh, wait, no. That was Secrets of the Lost Tomb in front. So let's see. Ah, Secrets going to get the gold. And it looks like we will have a showdown between Sword and Sorcery and Mechs vs. Minions for silver. Oh, it's Sword and Sorcery. That is a surprise. They had not been performing as well as Mechs vs. Minions, but just edged them out. And even with some lateral motion, so they really got a good roll there. So there we go. Secrets of the Lost Tomb, gold. Sword and Sorcery, silver. Mechs vs. Minions, bronze. And here are our proud medalists. Although our proud medalists were falling a bit. And with that, Mechs vs. Minion gets their second medal. So does Secrets of the Lost Tomb. Sword and Sorcery captures their first medal, but they're still trailing on the leaderboard. Descent still in first place. Mechs vs. Minions, though, is shot up to tie them for first. And Secrets of the Lost Tomb is hunting them down in third. Mice and Mystics fourth. And then the rest of the field pretty far behind. It's going to be tough for them to catch up for the overall ranking. I'm Derek Derrickson, and join us very soon for Event 5 and the end of the 2020 Roll Olympics.